there's nothing more American than baseball. Players like Shoeless Joe, Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth, Willie Mays, Ernie Banks, Reggie Jackson, and Doug Allison. So you might ask yourself, who is Doug Allison? Doug Allison played for the Cincinnati Red Sox back in the 70s, the 1870s. So was he a home run leader? No. Did he have the most strikeouts? No. He was a catcher. In fact, in the 1870, it is believed that he was one of the first players to don a baseball glove. Baseball gloves back then were just a flesh-colored stitched leather glove. They were flesh-colored to hide the fact that they wore gloves. Donning baseball gloves back then was slow to catch on at first because players would be ridiculed and called sissies for wearing them. By the 1890s, it was normal for players to wear some sort of glove, but gloves weren't worn to help catch the ball. They were used to help knock the ball down and still be able to make the play. In fact, a lot of players wore gloves on both hands, and their gloves were fingerless so they could still grip the ball and throw it. It wasn't until 1920 when Bill Doak of the St. Louis Cardinals suggests stitching a web between a finger and thumb to create a pocket. By the 1930s, it was realized that the glove design was just as important as the play itself, thus starting the evolution of baseball glove designing to actually aid in the catching and playing of the game. Today's baseball gloves are just as labor intensive as they were 70 years ago. In fact, most baseball gloves today are still manufactured by hand. Today's baseball gloves are designed to be position specific. First baseman's gloves are designed to scoop up a thrown ball off the ground. Infielder's gloves have smaller pockets to allow faster glove to hand transfer, and outfielder glove gloves are bigger with a larger pocket to make that diving catch or rob that home run. Where are baseball gloves going from here? It is safe to say that improvements in glove designs will continue to advance. Maybe not as fast as they were changing 70 years ago, but changes will occur just like everything else.